first at five o'clock this Friday, monument vandals strike. A Christopher Columbus statue is covered in paint. Tonight, crews have cleaned it up, but the question remains, why was it targeted? Good evening, I'm Lauren Freeman. And I'm Bill Baessa. The statue of the Italian explorer in Houston's Bell Park was donated to the city nearly 25 years ago, and it was not the only one targeted. Our Brandon Walker is joining us live tonight in the Sunnyside community. Brandon, an MLK statue also damaged, correct? Yeah, indeed, Bill. It's the bust of MLK here at Bricker Park in Sunnyside. As you can see, it too has been cleaned. All this after a Houston firefighter did so. You mentioned the question of who may be responsible for all of this at this hour. Police still working to figure that out. Oh, bless your heart. Two statues on two sides of town of two men, both heralds of history and alas. They just, they just dumped it on the top. Targets of vandalism. At Bell Park on Montrose Boulevard, art conservators like Bob Pringle spent all day cleaning an oil-based red paint from a statue of Christopher Columbus. Houston police believe someone dumped a quart of the paint on the statue either Monday or Tuesday this week. Since we got it soon, it's going to come up about much easier than if it had been dried for a couple weeks. Press clippings from the Italian Cultural and Community Center documented the statue's installation, 1992, 500 years after Columbus made landfall on the Americas. Across town... I don't like it. It hurts. Houston police say vandals dumped white paint on a bust of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. at Bricker Park in Sunnyside Thursday morning. Marvis Johnson Hall lives across the street. The statue means hope, inspiration, you know, everything that Martin Luther King stood for. Friday, officers kept watch on both monuments. Who did it? Why? Houston police don't know as of yet. Chief Art Acevedo. So we've given direction to our patrol assets that when they're not busy trying to save lives and respond to emergency calls, to have some situational awareness of what monuments are in their patrol district. And I can tell you, as far as I can see, there remains a Houston police cruiser here on scene keeping watch on this monument here. Also, a precinct one constable was present at the monument for Christopher Columbus. Police tell us that they are not sure if either of these cases are related, but they do say that they are being investigated as criminal mischief. We are live tonight in Sunnyside. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you.